Hi you guys, welcome to the Macca Show. I'm Macca. Uh, only the people can save America. It's quite obvious the walls are crumbling. The great America we once knew and loved is dissolving. So how is America going to be saved from its decline? Only the American people can save this great nation. Only the American people can give the nation back its pride and joy once again. Unfortunately at the moment America, like the UK, has become a laughing stock to the world. And uh, some nations, enemy nations, are emboldened by the decline of America. And this is a worry. And they are ready to step into America's shoes to become the world leader that America once was. And this will surely happen unless the American people take their country back again. The way I see it is that it starts with the individual, then the family, then the communities, then you can take back your country once you've resolved all those issues. And it looks like those issues in the individual, the family and the communities are all in turmoil and they never seem to go to be resolved in any way. But unless the American people wake up, they won't be. You might ask the question, how? How are we going to do that? How are we going to take back America? Well, as I said, it's as I said, it starts with the individual. The individual must realise their destiny, their worth, their aspirations and dreams. We seem to have lost all of those. They must understand the world doesn't evolve around them. And there is a bigger picture. And people must understand they have a responsibility towards each other. The quote from the Bible said... Am I my brother's keeper? Well, my answer is yes. We are. We are each other's keepers. We have a duty and a responsibility to look after and take care of each other above big business. And unless we do this first, the fundamentals in society, uh, America will never be fixed. The individual needs to uh, love one another, love others without hypocrisy and to lift another one up, whether you agree with them or not, whether a different race, whether a different social uh, status, whatever it is, the difference is we have to rise above that for the sake of America. But how, how did the decline happen? The decline happened because people looked after themselves. They sought their own pride and ego. They chased after the, the dream, which they thought was possessions, money, and the mass uh, accumulation of uh, many things. But... I, it hasn't brought happiness and peace and contentment and joy as we're witnessing right now. You've been taught to pursue yourself, what you want, and you became, uh, many people became twisted in their pursuit for money and material gain and pushing others to one side uh, to get what they want out of life. I mean, those things within themselves are not bad. It's not bad to have. Everyone wants a nice home and nice things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But we must fix society first. This must be our goal collectively. And our desire should be for the advancement of other people. And of yourself in a good way. And in advance of those that you love. The advance of yourself means uh, developing your heart and mind to love other people, to become humble, kind, 
These things are not taught in the schools and universities. They're not even mentioned. The the normal guy in the, in the country seem to have lost their identity or feel they've lost their power. Uh, we need to take back all of their manhood, and I don't mean that literally, of course, in a different way than before. A man's real strength is his integrity, his humility, his sense of justice for others, who puts others before himself. These are powerful strengths that can bring uh, you a sense of pride and joy in your life and a sense of worth for yourself. But what we're, instead, what we've had for the last 30, 40, 50 years uh, is, uh, is for people to get recognition and to use the power that they do have, both mentally and physically, in negative ways, which has slowly uh, decimated our society just to get what they want. Me, me, me. And second, and secondly, the family unit. This this is one of the reasons why uh, the family unit has been decimated, is is practically dissolved because there's been no unity in the collective group uh, and and in the collective understanding. But the desire of dominance by parents towards each other and their children, the lack of faith, the abandonment of faith and the desire to uphold a sacred union between a man and a woman no longer exists. It's easy come, easy go now, in the blink of an eye, literally. Thirdly, the communities. The communities that you live in have become uh, places of danger, and, and and many people can't even go out. We're afraid to let our children out any longer. And our old people are, 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 are hemmed up in their homes. They're afraid to go out. It's become a quagmire for criminals and those who want to lead a harmful lifestyle and bad life choices. The de uh, de degradation of our communities happen when politicians put money before people. They put business before before creating peaceful, happy environments. They set up uh, all our communities for business. And this was always the first, uh, the first priority amongst politicians. And the people were pushed to the side. And now they're paying the consequences of pushing the people to one side for the sake of business. Fourthly, America, taking back your country. America for years has been uh, has been a place where it's all about power and strength. And this has been reflected in amongst people as well. And then with the, those people put, put uh, people in positions of power and strength who are only after one thing, for the glory, for the power, for for wealth and recognition and this is their mindset and it still is their mindset and might give you the impression they're all for the people they give you little buzzwords like tax cuts leveling up reset they give you all those little buzzwords thinking that you know that's like feeding a breadcrumb to a flock of birds where they fight amongst the breadcrumb. This is what the politicians are doing. They throw in a breadcrumb every now and then in a little buzz word or buzz phrase, which they think will satisfy the people and they will vote for them. So unless uh, it's a flawed, it's flawed, it's a flawed ideology and the present situation proves how bad an ideology it is. The interests of big business comes first. The drive for profit, and then not only profit, which is nothing wrong with that, but more profit and more profit and more profit, which big business is striving to do. You read, oh, the, the, uh, their profits were down this year. The, they're, only, uh, they're only made $3 billion profit this year. 
Really? I don't need to bring race, ethnicity or sexual orientation into this conversation. I never do. Because for me, these issues affect every single one of us, no matter who we are. And we are all in it together. So we should all rise together collectively in the mindset. And I don't mean uh, through violence. Our collective mindset must rise together to take back America. If we're going to move forward, this we must do. We've got to put aside uh, our desires and, um, and, putting, our, and putting ourselves uh, in a class, in a, in a box, literally, to create an identity for ourselves, whether it's our race, gender, class, status, what are all those things? And I, I don't even discuss those things. I never have done yet. If you look through my videos, you will never see anything about race or ethnicity because we all face the same issues. And this is what it's all about. And this is the mindset we must all get rid of. We need to get rid, uh, rid of that conditioning, that political uh, conditioning that has been placed upon most people. And so they focus on on those issues rather than the the bigger picture and the collective picture of lifting one another up, lifting our society up, lifting America up once again through love. It's not a fantasy. It's not a dream. It's a reality because we all have that capacity within us to love en masse if we choose to. And loving each other isn't weak. Being humble or kind will will not make your life less. But it will do exactly the opposite. Those things will make your life wholesome. And if your life is wholesome, then you look you look forward uh, with with joy, peace, and contentment in your life. Even if you're going through bad things, even if you're financially stuck. You can still live a, a, a life of joy, peace and contentment because you have those qualities. Things have to reset or reboot. The society has to reset and reboot into uh, those things I've just talked about. The hearts and minds that need to reset. Not the, the systems and the way things are done, but how things are done and the four processes that go into making these systems work properly for all of us. And only the American people can do that. Only the American people have that power. Politicians don't have any power. They, they have a, a delusion of power. But the people have real power to make change and to take back their country only if they choose that path. And in this way, America will be great again. Hi, uh, well, what do you think of that? What, uh, I'd really like to know what your opinions are, what your thoughts, feelings uh, are on that subject of America and uh only the people can take back America and only the people can save America. Um, I'm sorry my videos are not the most professional. I haven't got the fancy background. I haven't got the professional video. Uh, I haven't got the s professional scripts or whatever people use. Uh, I'm just speaking from the heart to the American people. Uh, I'm really concerned about the United States of America. It's a great country. I love the people and I want nothing but the best for them and for the United Kingdom. As you can tell, I'm not American. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Come back again and I hope to see you soon. God bless you.